Solve the following exponential equations. I start with equation 1. 3.56 to the power of x is equal to 4.51 to the power of x cubed. If I take the ln or log of in any base from both sides, the powers of x and x cubed would, uh, would come down and will not act as powers anymore. Let's apply ln to both sides of this equation. ln of 3.56 to the power of x is equal to ln of 4.51 to the power of x cubed. Based on the properties of ln, we can simplify both sides of these equations. We get x ln of 3.56 is equal to x cubed ln of 4.51. We can think of this equation as something like ax is equal to b x cubed. Ln 3.56 and ln 4.51 are just numbers such as a and b. To solve this equation, we can take all the terms to one side, let's say to the left side, and then factor the x, because x would be common between the two terms. The result would be x times ln of 3.56 minus x squared ln of 4.51 is equal to 0. We have now two terms, x and the term inside the bracket. If the product of two terms is 0, either the first term or the second term must be 0. ln 3.56 minus x squared ln of 4.51 is equal to 0. x equals 0 would be one of our solutions. Now, the second condition gives us a new equation involving x. We can isolate x squared and then take the root. To isolate x squared, we move the term involving x squared to the right side of the equation. 3.56 is equal to x squared ln of 4.51. Now we divide both sides uh, by ln of 4.51 to get x squared is equal to ln of 3.56 divided by ln of 4.51. And if we take the root, we would have x equal to plus minus root ln of 3.56 divided by ln of 4.51. And this is the solution to the problem. If we wanted to approximate these solutions to decimal numbers, we could use the calculator to get the solutions to be approximately plus or minus 0.918. Therefore, the solutions are um, minus 0.918, 0, and plus 0.918. Question 2. 2 times 4 to the power of 5x minus 1 is equal to 8 times 3 to the power of x. As we can see, we don't have additions where the bases are. It's all multiplication. Taking ln from both sides would be helpful. But before doing that, we can do some simplifications. We can divide both sides by 8. 8 and 8 cancel each other on the right hand side and on the left hand side. 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. But 4 to the power of 5x minus 1 divided by 4 to the power of 1 
is equal to 4 to the power of 5x minus 1 minus 1 which is 4 to the power of 5x minus 2 therefore the left hand side becomes 4 to the power of 5x minus 2 and the right hand side is 3 to the power of x now we can take log in some base from both sides of this equation I would use ln and I would have ln of 4 to the power of 5x minus 2 is equal to ln of 3 to the power of x we can use the properties of ln to find 5x minus 2 ln of 4 is equal to x ln of 3 this is a linear equation in x we can keep all the terms which involve x on the left hand side that would be 5 ln 4 times x and then the term from the right hand side would also go to the left become mi minus x ln 3 and on the right hand side we would have the terms which do not have x 2 ln 4 now we can factor the x from the two terms on the left we would have x times 5 ln 4 minus ln 3 is equal to 2 ln 4 if we divide both sides by the expression inside these brackets we find that x is equal to 2 ln 4 divided by 5 ln 4 minus ln 3 and this is the answer to the problem however if we want to approximate the solution into a decimal number we can use our calculator to get x to be approximately equal to 0.475 let's now look at question 3 e to the power of x plus e to the power of minus x is equal to 3 times e to the power of x minus e to the power of minus x it is very important to realize that taking the ln or log of both sides of this equation will not simplify the equation at all this is because of the existence of these additions and subtraction we would need to simplify this equation before taking the ln or log from both sides of the equation to simplify we keep all the terms involving e to the x on one side and all the terms involving e to the minus x on the other side the left hand side is e to the x plus e to the minus x the right hand side is 3 e to the x minus 3 e to the minus x let's move e to the x to the right side and let's move minus 3 e to the minus x to the left side we would have 3 e to the minus x plus e to the minus x is equal to 3 e to the x minus e to the x if we simplify 4 e to the minus x is equal to 2 e to the x or 2 e to the minus x is equal to e to the x we can write the left hand side as 2 over e to the x and the right hand side we keep as e to the x now we can cross multiply we get 2 times 1 is equal to e to the power of 2x now we can take the ln from both sides of this equation we get ln 2 is equal to ln e to the power of 2x on the left hand side we keep ln 2 on the right hand side we can use the properties of ln to write 2x ln e but we know that ln e is equal to 1 therefore 2x is equal to ln 2 and if we divide both sides by 2 we get x is equal to 
ln 2 divided by 2. This is the solution to the question. If we want an approximation for this solution, we can use the calculator to find x to be approximately equal to 0.347 if we keep three significant digits. Last question, question 4. 5 to the power of 2x is equal to 5 to the power of x plus 1 plus 1. Once more, taking the ln or log of this equation will not simplify the equation at all. The reason is this plus 1 here. However, by looking at the equation, we realize that the left-hand side can be written as 5 to the power of x to the power of 2. We can go backwards to see whether this is correct or incorrect. And the right-hand side can be written as 5 times 5 to the power of x. And we can keep the plus 1 on the right. Now, a closer look at the equation reveals that if we treat 5 to the power of x as a new variable, which we call y, in fact, we have y squared equal to 5y plus 1. This is a quadratic equation in y. We can use the quadratic formula to find the value of y, and after that, we can find the value of x. Let's find the value of y. Let's take all the value, all the quantities to the left. We would have y squared minus 5y minus 1 equal to 0. If we use the quadratic formula, we will have y is equal to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a, which, if we simplify, becomes 5 plus or minus root 29 divided by 2. If we use the calculator, we see that one of the roots is equal to minus 0 0.9193, and the other root is y2 equal to 5.193. We took y to be e to the power 5 to the power of x. Therefore, this first equation implies that 5 to the power of x, which was y, is to be minus 0.193. But this is impossible because 5 to the power of any number will always be positive. Another way to realize that this is not correct, then there is no value for x satisfying this equation, is to take the ln of both sides, which would imply taking the ln of a negative number. Therefore, there is no solution from this equation. No solution for x. The second equation, however, would imply that 5 to the power of x is equal to 5.193. And if we take the ln or log base 10 or any log of both sides of this equation, we would have x ln 5 is equal to ln 5.193. If you took log, you would have x log 5 equal to log 5.193, which does not affect the final answer. Divide both sides of this equation by ln 5, and you get x is equal to ln of 5.193 divided by ln 5. If we use our calculator, this is approximately equal to 1.024.